guys, it's me. Last week, I made a video about the vegan teacher, and ever since then, she's made not one, but four videos about me. One of them is called, Sniper Wolf is on her way to becoming vegan. Wait, what? Hello, students. We have wonderful news. SS Sniper Wolf is well on her way to becoming vegan. She's already completed step one, which is to put up her fists and fight the messengers, who are just here to tell the truth about the horrible ways that animals are treated in the meat, dairy, and egg industries. She got her first click. Only 99 left to go. Wait, 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 wait. She made a video saying, I'm gonna become vegan if 100 people sign their name. Wait, what? Oh, if only the world worked that way. Hey, I heard you like donuts. Yeah. I'm gonna do this online petition so that you can never eat another donut again. Wait, wait. <laughs> I already signed. Here's what she should have said in her presentation and what she will say in the future if she's a good person at heart. You can eat what you want but you can't eat who you want. There must be consent before touching anyone. So before I pick up my dog or pet my dog, my dog has to consent. How's an animal gonna do that? The cow lifts this leg like, All right, yes, you can milk me now. Gives you the nod of approval. That's when it's okay to milk a cow. A chicken lays an egg. Before you take the egg, the chicken has to look at you, make eye contact, blink twice, nod, and say yes before you can legally take that egg. I'm sorry, Vegan Karen, that is not how the world works. To future SS Sniper Wolf, who will join us after she gets her 100 clicks and becomes vegan for life. Only 99 clicks left. Woohoo! So 99 people click it. I'm vegan. Allegedly. It's funny because it's ironic. You're doing this without my consent. So when somebody calls me by my legal name, I take it as a form of disrespect. That by itself makes me want to punch a cow. Punch a cow? Somebody mispronounces your name and you want to punch a cow? When it's you, yes ma'am. Bizarre thing to say. What the f*** is the matter with you? Woo, she's getting mad. Angie. Do you realize what your words are doing? Your words have impact. It's not a joke. Actually, it is a joke. Do you really see me taking time out of my day, no matter how angry I am at the vegan t-shirt? Do you honestly see me going out into a field, finding a cow, and knocking it out? She thinks I'm dead serious. I'm gonna go on a cow punching rampage. It's not a joke to talk about hurting the defenseless. What a despicable thing to say. I feel like I'm in school being scolded. I'm an adult now, so you can't talk to me like that. Um, I'm drinking matcha. Vegan, but has cream on it from cows. Vegan teacher like. When you mention the M word, milk. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Honestly, what good are cows if they don't give us milk? They ain't cute. You can't train them to do a trick. I agree, the dairy industry is But come on. Cereal with almond milk doesn't taste the same. I don't tell you how to live your life, so please do not tell me how to live my life. If you don't want anyone to tell you how to live your life, what right do you think you have to tell this pig that it's time for her to die at just six months old just because you want to eat bacon? Sausage or ham. So she brings up this book like why well, love one but eat the other I mean you could love an animal and still eat it Also, I ain't never ate dog and I ain't never ate pig so your argument irrelevant There are so many other things to eat in your next presentation I want you to talk about the animals with compassion tell the truth about what they go through show empathy here We got the cute versus delicious scale my dog cute. She don't even got that much meat I would never eat a dog chicken Ugly. Also, tastes delicious. Vegan teacher would hate to hear it. Empathy, empathy. Animals are not ours to eat. So, when is the mixtape gonna drop? She just said animals are not ours to eat. Then why do other animals eat animals? Aren't we as humans animals? So we should be eating animals. Just like the other animals eat other animals. It don't make no sense. She gonna come after the lions, cheetahs, T-Rex. Basically any animal that eats meat. When are you gonna cancel them? Oh, they don't know any better. Neither do humans. Come on, let's go get a messy shiitake burger. I got just the place. My treat. The future is vegan. It's kind of cringe, bro. Time to dance. Come on, SS Sniper Wolf. Shake it. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals, don't buy their bodies, don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It's only by the grace of God that you are- Bro, what is this? Do, 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 don't eat chicken, don't eat meat. Take a seat. So
Sit down, Squidward. I can't believe this is a 60 year old woman. I need my protein. I need my protein. I need my protein. Oh boy. I can see this is gonna take a while. Like I already said, plants have protein. Leah, you don't need to eat animals or their secretions or their eggs. Yoo-hoo! SS Sniper Wolf! Leah, open your eyes. Why is it a black screen? Girl, I wanna see your face! I wanna see your mouth move! What influence does a black screen have? Girl, where's your face cam at? Okay, Leah. Well, I'm really proud of you for sitting still this long. I know you're getting tired and it's gonna be recess soon. She really out here acting like I'm sitting here in her class. Yes, I'm watching the videos. Yes, I'm listening. Dang, she's getting exactly what she wanted. Fell right into her trap. You know what's hilarious? Vegetable Karen over here tried to cancel Coco Melon. The kids show because of this. Um, okay, hold on one second there. What do I see? Okay, we're talking about a she, first of all. Bro, as soon as the kid can like open their eyes, they're gonna be glued to Coco Melon to learn like what ABCs, how to talk, fetuses, watch Coco Melon. Um, one thing about this farm that strikes me right away that I find kind of odd is there that farms like that, like this, rarely exist anymore. Big corporations have taken over and they have taken the land and they have these massive uh, farms where they keep the animals. So right away, this is kind of an old fashioned way of teaching kids about animals. You know, old McDonald's farm, that type of thing. She's like, ugh, an animation of a farm like this? So old fashioned. What do you want them to do? Show a documentary on how milk is really made? You trying to traumatize these children? She's like, yes! By far, the vast amount of animals on this planet are used. They are eaten, they are warm. Okay, but have you been to every single farm in the world? You telling me someone ain't got a farm like this? Even I had a farm like that in Minecraft. <laughs> Speaking of Minecraft. This is to the young man who seems to think it's okay to use my face and my voice clips for his video game to try to make money. What you're doing is illegal. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Minecraft, I see. So, mm, I'm gonna give them an X for this, but I'll give them a, a check mark because they're at least talking about animals, so that's good. Whoa, Coco Melon gets an X? 116 million subscribers, drop to zero. <laughs> oh, what's going on? All right, so we have a little kid here coming to do something to the sheep, and clearly this sheep is not happy and trying to get away. So this sheep ha knows what's going on. The sheep has clearly been abused in some way. I was like, no, don't say it, don't say it. This sheep ran away, he's been abused. My dog runs away when she sees me pulling out the wet wipes, trying to wipe the dirt off her paws. Does that mean she's abused? No. Or is definitely not happy to see this child. So what has this child done? She out here blaming the child, like what did he do? Maybe the sheep don't like kids. Have you any <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he said, mm, no, I ain't got no wool. Okay, this is not okay. So the song is Baba Black Sheep, Have You Any Wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. And the sheep is clearly saying, um, no, I don't have any wool for you. The wool belongs to me. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what, what is all that? What do we have here? He got the audacity to say, mm -mm, no. You told me this sheep living rent free on this farm and he can't at least give him some wool? There's a loud ass fly in my room. I see him, but I can't get him. Also, don't sheeps need to have their fur cut? Otherwise they look like this and it's heavy. They can't even walk like that. They're prone to infections. Also, when you take their fur, it's not hurting them. Why are we having this scene here anyway? Three bags full? You have three bags full of wool? Um, no. This is not okay. This is exactly what I'm worried about. What is not okay about this? Don't touch the animal without his consent. I traded my first daughter for that sheep. I will touch it. This is not a game that the sheep is playing. It's not a game of tag. One for the dame. One for the what? And one for the dame? What are you talking about? You're gonna take the sheep's wool and you're just gonna give it away to random people? Uh, no, they're gonna sell it for profit because that's a smart thing to do. I ain't raised this sheep. Take care of it to give his wool away for free. Also, she really just paused out of the video every two seconds like, no, no, stop, this is not okay. Sheep's wool belongs on them. No, it doesn't. We need to stop breeding sheep into existence 
and breeding them in such a way that they, they have more and more and more wool. So what you're saying is we should just let the sheep die out. How will they make Uggs? And then there's this lie that people tell. They say, oh, we need to, to uh, shave the sheep because otherwise they'll be uncomfortable. No, what we need to do is stop breeding sheep to begin with. Stop creating animals just for the purpose of using them, taking from them, stealing from them, eating them. It seems what Veggie Karen wants is a reset, like a meteor to come and just crash the earth and we start over with like Noah's Ark, take two of each animal and we start again, we start over. That is the only option. <laughs> Why does the little boy who lives down the lane need to have some kind of wool from a sheep? Maybe because the winters are cold and we want to keep the child warm? You're wearing clothes, right? Why do you need clothes? To tell everybody you're vegan? You wear clothes to keep warm. Why don't they make the clothes out of plants or something? How would you like it if somebody came and just started taking off your hair of your head without consent? I think you'd be running away too. No, 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 no. If somebody came and shaved my armpit hair to make me more comfortable and less sweaty, I'd be like, great, thanks. A bit embarrassing though. She does horrible comparisons. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. <laughs> My head hit the wall. And the poor thing, she runs into a ladder and, and gets herself hurt trying to escape. This is not okay either. She sounds like she's gonna start crying. I'm still gonna laugh. Also, why is the baby out here doing daddy's chores? This baby should be sitting at home watching Coco Melon. And yeah, he out here trying to shave the sheep. What's funny about that? You just caused this harm to this sheep by chasing her and trying to do something to her that she doesn't want. And when she has a bucket that falls on her and she's full of paint, your first reaction is to laugh. <laughs> it's like she's watching me. Yes, sorry, I acknowledge I am a terrible person. You're barking up the wrong tree. I'm not okay with this. We are not teaching kids the proper morals. Aww. No. Aww. All right, so far you have only one check mark and uh, seven X's. I like how she's using the back of a Triscuit box. Ba, ba, blue sheep, have you any oh no, he's a blue sheep. What has this child got in his hands? A lasso? A kind of a weapon with which to catch this innocent animal? Yeah, he's trying to bring the sheep back home. Next thing you know, she's gonna say, if you put a leash on a dog, you should go to jail. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three what are you doing? Trying to catch the animal, the animal says no, shakes this away. Yeah, because animals say no in real life. They just shake their head and be like, no, stop. How would you like it if somebody tried to lasso you and tried to pin you down and take your hair? You want to lasso a baby now? She's talking about compassion. She got no compassion for the human race. Another X for Coco Melon. Coco Melon, so far you're not doing very good. Cancel Coco Melon, how dare they? I'm not impressed. One for the master. Now the sheep has to try to stop the lasso with with her hands because it's coming out her face. Look at this sheep's face. Do you think that this sheep wants this to happen? <laughs> Bro, it's an animation! She's taking this way too seriously. The message is clear. I don't consent to this. I don't want this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three, yes, I want to thank you for watching today. And unfortunately, um, I don't think that the show succeeded. She watched one minute and 20 seconds of it, and she's like, nah, I can't take this no more. Cocomel and Big Fat, <laughs> canceled. Y'all are dead to me. Hello friends, it's me. Today is a lovely day to go Karen hunting. There's this Karen on a plane who keeps trying to shut the passenger's window. Just watch. Can you just keep it shut, please? I'm trying to sleep. I want it down. I, just, it's not, just keep it I shut. It she's recording herself. I called the intended. You're being ridiculous. Mm. Put it down. I'm not putting it down. Put it down. You don't own this plane. My God. Don't touch me. That's assault. <laughs> How dare you stick your grimy little hand in my seat? You know, not that I've been doing anything the past five minutes. It's not your plane, it's clearly mine. Ma'am, we are both passengers here. You can't do that. Leave it. Don't come back here. That's my seat. I've been here all day. Yet she's gonna reach into his seat. You're being childish. 
You're being childish. Yeah, she sticks her whole entire hand to shut somebody else's window. How are you gonna do exactly what you're gonna complain about? You trying to sleep? Take a napkin, put it over your eyes. Call it a nap. I've got a law degree. I'm you here. Need to leave. I'm here at the end salon asking for a refund because I got a terrible Get haircut. Out. Your language And this is, is a disgusting. customer. My language. Your I'm language a, is disgusting. I'm a customer, I'm asking, and you have offended me. I. I'm. A I'm not talking Get to you. Of me. I, I'm not Stop on you. Stop hitting me. I, <laughs> Wait, so this dude, a customer, comes in wanting a refund and is gonna deal with another customer. They've been doing my hair for the past 20 years. Give me the good old Karen cut. How dare you insult this establishment? Get off you. of me! I, I'm not Stop on you! Stop hitting me! I'm hitting get you! Get out of here! Who get get out of this Look shop. at this! You get out of this shop. My arms are- look, dude! Get hey, if she, if she doesn't get her- she's grabbing me, dude! Ow. <laughs> him like stop touching me stop touching me and he is like both his hands are up he ain't touching her he ain't doing nothing Dude, this whole thing is being recorded ah! all right i'm calling the cops. Ah! i'm calling look look at this lady this whole thing's being recorded you psychopath <laughs> Boy, guys, go sit down my you rib. nutcase my rib For your rib Sandwich. I haven't said one bad word! Bro, sit down! You came here to get your hair cut. But somehow ended up getting her imaginary ribs hit. <gasps> if this wasn't being recorded, it's crazy to think that people might actually believe her. You know, it wasn't your hands that hurt me. It was your words. This next Karen has a table and she's gonna explain why she thinks Monster Energy Drink is the drink of the devil. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew, 666 on the can. My interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink? let alone the name Monster. So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. Big can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. not that deep but yet people are gonna like twist meanings like it's an M why it gotta be 666 because you know the word monster begins with an M and yet she's saying here like yeah, this is Satan's energy drink this next Karen made this girl quit her job I don't know where this is going like right there I'll hold up the key get to the table real quick oh uh, I completely understand you just have to put your mask on in order to walk inside we're just literally uh, walking five feet into the restaurant I don't understand it's, 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 I, under, I understand um as, if you don't mind can you please just put it on I mean, like, I just put the lip uh, right on. Can we, can we yeah, I'll look at my manager for you. But yeah. That's I never heard that excuse. I just put my lipstick on, so, like, I don't want to put my mask on. Bro, you're about to sit at a restaurant and eat. What are you putting lipstick on for? Seasoning? Because it's, it, we're, we're, we're that living. girl's not wearing one. That girl's not wearing right, one. We'll explain to you if, if, if you don't let me so talk. I'm it's not people, walking five feet into a but restaurant. It's people like I'm you. already in. Oh. I'm already people in. People like you that make it difficult to have a job. I'm going to get paid enough to be here. And it's not fair because it's not even my fault. I, I just quit. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Oh my gosh. She should seriously oh just no. I'll wear it. I'll wear it. I'll wear the mask. Fine. Oh, no. job because you don't want to mess up your lipstick boo hoo it's like you know you have to wear a mask when you go out yeah some people will still like want to fight about it and her boyfriend's literally like telling her like bro just do it i want to eat why do people have to make it so difficult the cops and this dude showed up. Hold on, let me guess. The kids in the pool are black. Yes, yes, they're black. Shut up. Kids that are black in your pool are not bothering you, lady. What are they doing? They're drowning. No! <laughs> oh no, she ain't a Karen. She's just Karen. You fool. They drowned it? Well, this is awkward. Yo, 
let me cut it and try and loose? We got a Karen. Don't try to pass that thing off. Okay. Ever. Yeah, put your mask on, Karen. No, I don't think so. No, you don't dismiss me. I don't think so. I'm not gonna leave until you pay my bill for me. Cause I didn't like the food. Just go and stop teaching my children words, please. I have children right here. She really said, bye Felicia. Like she thought she did something. Why is she telling the waiter who served her to pay her bill? When they give you the bill, imagine just flipping that Uno reverse card like, no sir, you gotta pay my bill. I'll pay your bill if you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly money, just get the heck out of here. These two girls ordered a bunch of food at a restaurant and then left without paying because they didn't like the food. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Look how much food you guys got. You guys ordered so much and you're gonna leave without paying? Without paying? You still ordered it. They still cooked your food. You still left without paying. You came up to us. For them, for their protection. Go, pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. That really makes sense why you guys look like that. Like that's very rude. Okay, pay them and leave. That's very rude that you guys look like that and you're calling us out for not paying our bill. Girl, what the heck does that have to do with how they look? And they're really out here arguing like, oh yeah, we ordered a ton of food, but like we didn't eat it. So like, why do we have to pay for it? I don't know, maybe they could just take the food and like give it to somebody else. Why are you guys recording us? Like, what did we do? Like, we didn't like the food and we wanted to like dine and dash. What's, what's wrong with that? You are actually what's wrong with that. So at the store, this girl set her phone down because she was recording a video and then this Karen comes along. Hey, hold on a second. I just gotta get some water. Oh my God, someone left their phone here. Someone left their phone on the water. Sorry, that's my phone. I was making a video. Oh, this is your phone, right? Okay, sure. Okay, you'll have to take it up with the checker. It is my phone. How do I know it's your phone? Because I'm, tr look, I'm trying to record a video. It's not recording. I'm gonna go take it to the checker. You can get it at the checker. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at her face on the camera. Oh, it's not recording. Do you not see this? It could have been worse. She could have been like, no, this is my phone. It just snatched it and ran out. Next up, we got this Karen straight out of her swamp who freaks out over a little doggy. And who are you? Have a great day. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. She's like, you're only allowed to have two guests. But you have two guests and a dog? How dare you bring a dog to your house? Just put a knife on. I'm your dog. Dog approached me. And what did she do? Your dog what is on me. She do? came at us. What did she do? It came at what us. What did she do? Does she bite you or why they are you freaking out? The dog. Get the dog out of here. This is a dog, very small dog. He's wearing his raincoat. The teeny tiny doggy is gonna go up to a grown Karen. I should go and pull a knife. This don't make no sense. So she's upsetty spaghetti because they are hogging the ATM at the gas station. This is hogging up the whole machine doing four or five, six oh, transactions. Four now to a out. bank. I would take two go to a out. bank. You go to a bank. <laughs> Where on this ATM does it say, what transaction? I mean, I understand, I get it. I get annoyed when people take a really long time on machines while I'm waiting behind them, but I'll make that obvious. I'll just be like behind them, breathing down the nape of their neck, tapping my foot, <sighs> sighing very loudly. Then again, I am very passive aggressive. <laughs> You going for a ride on your dirt bike and a wild Karen appears. Maybe you can put it on silent mode when you come up the road. There's no silent mode. It's a dirt bike, lady. Right now. It's because it's off. Because you're in the way. Okay. Blocking traffic, which is also illegal. That would work for me. So when you come to the road, just turn it off and walk it up. 
I'm not pushing up a hill, lady. Not everything revolves around you. Uh, your bike is way too loud, so when you come up around my house, do me a favor, turn it off, and just, like, walk around it. Girl, you are asking a lot. That's like me coming in your house at sunset. I don't like anybody in my neighborhood being awake at night in the dark. You know, it freaks me out. Just go to sleep. You're better off. Die. I just told you I have a medical health to wear a mask because I have a medical condition. If you have a medical condition, then stay home. You don't need to be out of Nordstrom shopping. She's like, I told four other employees. It means some. Now it's Karen versus the manager. This is not a law. A we law. are citizens of the United States of America. <laughs> this is not a law. This is tyranny. <laughs> this is tyranny. How dare you prevent me from spreading my disgusting germs. Come on, it's really not that deep. Show me the law. Show it. The law is actually right outside these doors. Come on, keep going. Almost there. Here it is. The law. <laughs> now stay out. Hello, friends. It's me. Today, we're going to be checking out some more Karens in the wild. This Karen thought this dude was following her around, right? So she confronts him. Leave me alone. Why do you keep following me? It's honestly so uh, creepy, and I'm going to call the cops. Man. You guys aren't leaving me alone. And that's why women yeah, can't go out in the world by themselves, because of guys like you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay? You have a thing hanging out of your car. There's a literally a gas hose hanging out of your car. No one's being creeped. Oh. No, thank you, I guess. Uh, there's <laughs> Girl, you did this for what? You know, if you let them speak for two seconds, all they wanted to tell you that your gas cap was open. They was trying to be a good citizen. She pulled the gas hose? The whole hose is off. And she didn't notice when she, like, walked out? You drive off. Humiliated. Drive of shame back to the gas station. Like, yeah, I'm stupid. I forgot to take this out of my car and drove off with it. The school principal happens to be a Karen. Catches some kids skateboarding. Get off my cabin! Don't do this! Get off my campus! Get out of here! He's leaving! We're out of here now. Go police! Get off my campus! Get out of here! Ma'am, you can't call the police on a walkie-talkie. I've asked We're you nicely and you guys are being real jerks right I've now. I've been very nice to you, ma'am. I need you Listen, to stop I've, skateboarding I've been very on nice the campus. You. You're being a jerk. You're being a I've been jerk. very you're, nice. I am doing my job. No, you're not. Your job I is am to doing be a principal. Do we go here? My no. job is to get no. you off the campus. This is the no, place of business. No, that's the security's job. You're a that principal. That is my job. You know what? Get off the campus! Quit yelling at me! Get off the campus! I don't go here. I don't have to respect you. You're gonna yell, I'm gonna yell back. Also, yeah, where is security? Why we got the principal doing the dirty work? Don't you got other teachers to check up on? I need you to stop harassing the customers. Come back here. Come behind the reg. I got you on recording. I'll show this to the cops. <laughs> Come back here. Oh. I'll show this to the cops. You lame -o. What's that? It means you're a loser. Oh, man. Oh, now I'm Angie, Angie. Savage little troll, isn't she? Oh, I can't do anything because he's recording. Wait, I'm gonna wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. Oh, man. Call me a lame one more time and see what happens. You're telling us somebody else. We got, we got a second guy recording. No mask, no service. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to shop without a mask on. A lot of places where I live, nobody wears masks anymore, but like if you go to a Costco or like a store that requires you to wear a mask, you still gotta wear a mask. <gasps> they took her away! They really took her away! Bro, as soon as I see the cops, I would have been like... You're literally going to jail over that. Like, how stupid can you be? They see the cops coming, y'all don't instantly get scared of like, start complying? So this dude got this very cool sprinkler to water his lawn. And then Karen, so rudely, decides to step up on his lawn. His grass. Ma'am, this is my grass. This is my lawn. She's like, don't. This is my property line. Attack him. <laughs> and then ends up getting sprayed. Bro, you can't be coming at somebody. Well, when are these? Lest you be humiliated on the floor. <laughs> 
It's like spraying the ants off the sidewalk. Except this one is quite large and goes by Karen. <laughs> this Karen was so incredibly petty that she did not get her parking spot. So she went into the Starbucks, got her drink, comes back out, and she is blocking her parking spot right there. Look, there she is. She's just chilling there waiting. She's like, I will not let you leave. <laughs> And it's just gonna hold down her horn like you really got all day. Oh my god, it wasn't even the right car, you idiot. She didn't even block the right <laughs> car. Karen, you stupid or something? Everyone's on it, put the mask on, bro. Put the mask on. Put your mask on, that's all you gotta do. Are you serious? Put your mask on. A fitting punishment. Nothing like some public humiliation. <laughs> Here she comes. There she goes. On her way to speak Matt, to the manager. Can you minute, please? I have a little girl. She was terrified. She has a very determined look in her eyes wherever she goes. And she was hurt and abused her entire life because of this establishment and because of establishments like it. She was locked away. She was hidden. She had nobody there for her. She was crying. She was scared every single moment. I like how they still got the music playing in the background while she's trying to tell this story. But wait for it. And because her usefulness had run out, she was going to be killed. And I can see you smiling, and I can see you laughing. But to her, this is not funny. Not I funny. went in there with other humans, and I took her out of there. And if I hadn't, she wouldn't be with me right now. She would be gone. Just like all of her sisters, and I'm here to tell you today that all of those other girls, but everyone who we left behind, they just wanted to live too. And right now their eggs and their milk and their bodies are on plates inside this restaurant. There it is! She talking about the huevos rancheros. Walks into a breakfast place. How could you guys eat eggs? She could have just walked in and said that. But no, she had to come up with this whole story, making it seem like something terrible happened. Like, bro, I'm just trying to enjoy my burrito. Can you not? Like, ain't nothing wrong with being vegan. Eat all the grass you want. But I can't stand when y'all want to make me feel bad for eating some chicken nuggies. That whole thing was overly dramatic. And that is so unfair to them. My little girl's name is Snow. And every time you see someone eating somebody else's eggs, you are going to remember her name. I'm confused. Did her story, they like had a chicken in the back, like laying eggs, and then she like busted through the back door and was like, Snow, you're mine. That's kind of weird. <laughs> It says face mask cover your a uh, uh, cloth cover. Read the read CDC. It says a cloth covering over your nose and your mouth. So this is not one of those face masks that look like it's your face. It's literally a piece of cloth with an ear loop. Meaning there's absolutely no point. Like you might as well not even be wearing a mask. It's kind of like a troll mask. And yeah, here she is defending herself. This is my cloth covering. Over Where is my it nose over your mouth? mouth? No, it's not. There is no adequacy in a face mask. There is absolutely none. I don't see it anywhere on the CDC guidelines, and I don't see it anywhere on any of your... It says a face mask is required. Girl, you look as stupid as that filter. Stop. She really thought she did some... You have to keep it over your mouth and nose, please. Okay. Well, My doctor here. said do not do that. Or that we can have you in here. Okay, then that is discrimination. Imagine this being a real situation. Yeah, you can go outside, you can go to Walmart and stuff, but for your health, you can't wear a mask. Not safe. Said no doctor ever. I don't need you to follow me around, oh, I'm okay? Sorry. I know gonna... my way out. All right, I'm just making sure. Because that's gonna get you hurt. I have- I... Was that a yeah, threat? I gotta keep everyone me? safe. Better for it, because I'll take this my right to the I'm sorry, uh, you can't come in here anymore. I'm sorry about that. Good, because oh, I don't I'm... even live here. Okay. <laughs> Did she really say I don't even live here? Ma'am, this is the Goodwill. I just work here. Good, I don't even live here. Yet makes such a hustle and bustle about leaving. She really threw hands like she was gonna fight. Everybody here knows a dozen is 12. You ask for a dozen donuts, you get 12 donuts, right? According to Karen, no. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 55 zero. Not 12. One dozen donuts is 55 zero donuts. I graduated math. But you don't understand any English. I know some people want to get a little bit greedy. And when we talking donuts, 50. 
50 is a dozen. So Dunkin' Donuts, you gonna give me 50 donuts in a dozen. I mean, have you seen their dumpster? They might as well. Y'all be throwing away thousands of donuts at the end of the day. Give it to the Karen, make her shut up. This very old Karen rented out a house on Airbnb and then decided to move in. Like, this is my house now. I'm claiming it. And they can't get her out. The property, get off it. I'm on the footpath. <laughs> you have no right to Robin, go. do you think we could talk about yeah, why you want to stay anything. here? She ain't leaving. Ma'am, this ain't even your house. She paid for a couple days and was like, nope, I really like it here. I'm just gonna live here if you don't mind. And she hired a security Airbnb's guard. Security jobs like this? Yeah, I'm laughing too because it's just in the bizarre book for me. My dude got no dignity like, yeah, I know it's stupid, but I'm getting paid to guard her in a house that she doesn't even own. Mind your business. But it gets even crazier. She's brought in her own furniture and even put up a flagpole. She put up a whole entire flagpole like, yes, it's mine. I legally live here now. She decided she really liked the place, so she asked if she could do a longer stay. So I said, yes, that's all right. Then Chris says his tenant started, well, decorating. I can't believe this. She hung up onions and called that home decor. So then the owner comes back. He's trying to get his house back. Like, ma'am, you gotta go. I'm Lee allowed to be here. You're not. Call the police. But this lady doesn't have a lease. She's right. been given notice. Mm -hmm. This man owns a house. He'd like his house back. All right, I need to, like, at the moment, let me do my job. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to do right now. I'm supposed to be protecting this woman. She got money to pay the bodyguard, but she don't got money to pay rent? Karen, you can't just take somebody's house. He just wants his house back. None of your business. He is well, it's not your house. Excuse me, I have rental pay going forward. If you have you got a rental agreement, could you show me the rental agreement? No, it's none of your business. You don't have one. I like this house. I think I'll just own it. Karen, if only life was that simple. Me staying at a hotel. Yeah, I really like this place. I think I'll stay here the rest of my days. This Karen's upset as spaghetti that the kids are being loud in the pool, right? So she goes to her neighbor's house to complain. So why does it matter? Like why do you why are you so worked up over these kids that are in the pool? I guess you weren't here and you $30,000 the last time they did this. Huh? It cost $30,000 the last time the kids wanted to play in the pool. $30,000 to replace this pool and the fence. Do you own the pool or the fence? I own my own home, therefore it's common ground. And yes, I do pay my association fee. And why do you have a bad attitude about Because it? I don't understand what it has to do with you when you can just leave them alone. They're just visiting and they're... I, I, why does it bother you so much? Like you're taking- last time it cost me $30,000. She's like, I paid my HOA fee and my mortgage. Therefore, I own the community pool. And last time kids were in it, they pissed in it. That cost me $30,000. Never again. Like, what is she on about? I'm going to go cause problems. For real people be like that.